Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. It's going to be lovely, very lovely. Just wait until you hear what Jamie Dimon said. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan, it is epic. Anyway, so pre market report this morning, Tuesday, February 13, 2024. Let's start off with this. Let's start off with the lovely, illustrious Jamie Dimon. Um, you know, once in a while, once in a while, you get a little bit of truth out of the freak show. And this guy obviously is a part of the freak show. Uh, this is what he had to say. You ready? Sit down for this one. Jamie Dimon believes that the U.S. debt is the most predictable crisis in history. Can I get a duh, please? <laughs> I think he's a little, little behind the curve, but this is where it really gets interesting. He goes, it could cost Americans their homes, spending power, and national security. I think that's pretty profound, and I think that's right on target as well. How about you? Look, you know, you, sometimes you got to laugh a little bit at this kind of stuff. Here's the situation. This is clearly going to unfold in, in a very dramatic way at one point, and I think what he is describing here that this could cost Americans their homes, spending power, national security, obviously freedoms, liberties. Um, and uh, what this is really going to amount to is an event. I mean, I, I've said this a million times. It's going to rock the core of the earth. The debt issue goes way, way beyond the financial markets. This is going to come down to a resource problem and we are going to see pandemonium in the streets on a scale that has never been seen before around the world. Um, that's fact. And this is deliberate. This is being set up by central banks. Look, you and I have been so far ahead of the curve on this. Now you got Jamie Dimon jumping on board, you know, seeing what you and I already know already. Uh, Yes, people are going to lose it all, all, and then some, including their lives. That's, that's a fact. You and I have spoken about this as well to the point of like, it's just ridiculous. But it's interesting to hear a warning like that. They have to do it. So he can say, well, I told all of you. Um, of course, we know where this is going. And it goes again, way, way, way beyond the market. This is going to lead to... Um, a moment in history that they're going to talk about, well, till the end of time. That's how unbelievably incredible it's going to be. The debt hyper bubble is the number one greatest threat to humankind. I've been telling you this for 10 years. Okay, now, finally, the CEO of the largest bank on the planet by assets, I'm talking about JP Morgan, is telling you and I what we already know. I mean, okay, it's... Uh, Kind of an interesting uh, thing here, and it plays plays right into that you know great taking. I mean, I wa I watched the documentary on it. A lot of you said I should. Did you learn anything new from that? No. If you follow this blog, you've been well aware of all that. The guy did a great job putting it together, no doubt about it. Um, I guess Jamie Dimon is also on the same page as you and I where, where this is going to go. But you have to understand these people. They all have their golden parachutes. Are you getting my drift on here? At least from a financial standpoint, they're going to be fine, and so are you. But when pandemonium breaks out in the streets here, and it's going to, you're going to need your neighbors. We're going to need to band together here. Now, again, they want people to hate each other, to war against each other, to eliminate each other. That's what they're looking to do here. But you and I, you see, we're smarter than that. We are making alliances with like-minded people. We're saying hello to our neighbors. We're getting together with our neighbors um, because we are going to need each other like you have no idea moving forward. Well, you do have an idea if you follow this blog here. So if Jamie Dimon is right that this debt uh, crisis is the most predictable in history, we're already in a debt crisis. See, he can't tell you that. And you and I already know that. The system is clearly unstable. It is destabilizing. We covered this yesterday in my post-market video. And how do we know that? How can we see this without having to guess? Look at debts and deficits. They are hyper-ballooning as you and I had predicted they would. 
It's too easy to put this stuff together when you understand the dynamics behind it, what is driving it. Do you understand? Uh, and it's central banks. And they are more than happy to lend and, 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 and force you and I to deal with war, death, and, and more propaganda. How about this? You and I, we called out on this video how they were going to start to sell more war to you and me and everybody else. How's this for a headline for you? Look at that. Nuclear threat, of course, they always have to scare you with this, okay? Nuclear threat posed by Iran. This is from this morning. Um, a nation that shouts death to America, death to Israel, burning flags. This is how they're going to get people to fall through that trap door. In case you don't know as well, the United States and its coalition partners who continue to pound, uh, bomb, uh, and, and kill many, many people here, this campaign that is going on is not going to stop. But now they're starting to seize Iranian assets. Now, I would say this. Um, first of all, you already know what this is all about. Iran here um, is being sent a warning um, not to align themselves uh, with uh, BRIC nations here, uh, the, the petrodollar threat, I, you know, it's, we, we, we got it, okay, it's pretty pretty obvious where this is going, I mean, they, they literally, uh, this was so predictable, and you and I called this out even before it happened, how this would unfold, but again, it's being sold to you, this whole thing is still being sold to you as retaliation for the three uh, service people that were killed, <laughs> laughing. I'm, I'm not laughing at their death, of course not. Whether or not that even happened remains uh, to, to be discovered. But I think, honestly, I, we all know what this is really about, a war to pull more cash into the now as liquidity is drying up. Uh, it's just too predictable, and you and I can sit back and we know exactly what they're going to do. We called headlines like this and pictures out. You remember? We said we were going to see this. Well, here you go. And you're not done with it. They're going to show you a lot more things. Um, and, and, and expect a lot of it to be staged as well. Uh, kind of an interesting, you know, who sends this photograph here from whoever, whoever it's from here? Someone took this on their cell phone. <laughs> anyway, people look. Uh, a couple of other interesting things that are going on here. Uh, this morning, we're going to get some inflation data. You know, look, I'll talk about it later, but it's all fake anyway. The numbers are twisted. Um... And, you know, it's all meant to bring about an, uh, a particular mindset, uh, you know, more propaganda, distractions, distortions, and all that kind of stuff here. Um, anyway, going, looking at the market this morning, as you all know, Dow, new record high yesterday. Um, market doesn't seem to want to pull back anymore. And now, I mean, there's multiple, it, it's multiple faceted here. You got these companies that continue to lay people off and Wall Street is rewarding those companies, bidding their stocks up higher. You got billions of dollars in stock buybacks here. That's boosting the market quite obviously. And then you got, you know, the promise, and it's going to happen here, of, of, of rate cuts moving, moving, uh, moving forward here. Uh, May, June, somewhere around that time. Let's see, let's see if I nail that one. It's, it's, um, I, I think it's, it's pretty much a lock, and that's another reason why you're seeing this market do what it's doing right now. And, and again, it's fa the faster that this global economy dies, and that's what central banks are doing now deliberately, they're killing the economy, the higher the market's going to go in this environment. I mean, it's pretty obvious, uh, I think at least. All right, let's 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 touch on a couple of other things. So uh, stock futures are slightly lower this morning. 10-year yield, all right, 4.15. The market seems very happy with that right here, uh, obviously, and we covered why rate cuts are coming. You got the dollar this morning on a relative rate basis that is slightly lower. Crude oil getting bid higher. Imagine my shock there. Imagine your shock. Uh, you got gold and silver cashing a bid. You got Bitcoin still hovering around fifty thousand. Um, I would like to see a pullback with regard to Bitcoin here. Are we going to get it? Who knows? I, I can tell you this. Um, in the end, I think people are going to be shocked and stunned at how high Bitcoin actually goes. Um, it's 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 going to change people's lives. Those people who are I, I think uh, aware enough to take advantage of that. 
I think you need some of this stuff in your portfolio, even just a little bit, okay? Even if you hate this stuff, and I know a lot of you do, um, would it hurt you to put maybe a couple hundred bucks into some Bitcoin? I, I don't think so. Um, but maybe maybe I'm wrong on that. All right, people, look, I want to hear from you specifically on this. Jamie Dimon. Warning the, that the U.S. debt is the most predictable crisis in history and could cost Americans their homes, spending power, and national security. Are you surprised to hear that? <laughs> Something tells me no. All right, people, look, this guy here loves you a lot from the heart. I mean that with all I got. Please comment. I want to hear from you about this stuff across the board, all, all the things that we talked about. And we will reconvene right here, 4.05 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. I hope to see you there. Have some questions ready for me. We'll go over those, all right? I'll see you later.